you and Bronny James, you made some comments saying that you won't support him until he stopped dating white women? Yes. Uh, Bronny James took a Caucasian to the senior prom. And as you know, celebrities are role models. Our children look up to them, unfortunately, because most black professional men have abandoned our boys in the inner city and in the black community. They don't have successful men around them. All black men, most black successful men have moved to a white neighborhood. So black boys have to look up to rappers. They have to look up to athletes because all of the successful black men have turned their backs on them, right? So Bronny James being a role model and being the son of a Lakers legend and an NBA great, black boys are going to look up to him. And when our boys look up to these celebrities art, they want to emulate them. And so if Bronny James is running around with a snow bunny, black boys are going to want to run around with a snow bunny. So me personally, I like the idea of LeBron playing with his son. I think it's a good thing for the community. I think it's a good look for black men. We don't see enough of father son love publicly demonstrated. So I think this is just a good thing to re-energize our men. But if he's going to run around with a white girl after the games and outside of the games, then that's not a victory for me. So if Bronny James can somehow detox, he needs a snow bunny detox. If Bronny James can somehow undergo a snow bunny detox and leave the white girls alone and get him a sister, then I want to root for him. I want the young brother to do good. And it's a shame that all these black people are trying to embarrass this young brother, humiliate this young brother. I mean, Every game he plays, I don't even be looking for Bronny James stats. Every game he plays in the summer league, somebody's blasting his field goal percentage, points he scored, minutes on the court. They're trying to humiliate and shame him. And they're doing it to get at his father. They're not doing this to get at Bronny. People are jealous of LeBron because of his stature, his status, his success, and it lashing out at LeBron through his son, and it's a damn shame because they didn't do this to J.J. Redick. I don't see J.J. Redick getting half the smoke Bronny James is getting. J.J. Redick didn't have no right to get that Lakers job. What did he win at Duke University? Nothing. What did he win with the Clippers? Nothing. What did he win with the Sixers? Nothing. Did he ever get a Defensive Player of the Year award? He might have won a three-point contest, you know, at the uh, All-Star Weekend, but J.J. Redick has no worthwhile accolades that would justify him being a rookie coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, a team that has two all-time NBA greats on it when you got Sam Cassell still sitting on the bench. Sam Cassell, back-to-back -back NBA champion. Sam Cassell, with the winning record he has as an assistant coach, he's right behind Teron Liu in terms of someone who should be getting a chance. Why is J.J. Reddick getting a chance? Because he's white and everybody knows that. But I don't hear no smoke for J.J. Reddick. But all of this shame and all of this sarcasm and all of this slander being directed at Bronny James while J.J. Reddick gets a pass. It just speaks to how much black people hate each other. That's what it speaks to. But I'm going to vote for Bronny James. I want him to do well. You know, his father is no activist. As I've said, when the whole Palestinian Israel thing broke out, LeBron James and Floyd Money Mayweather both jumped on the Internet and declared their support for Israel. You know, so LeBron James is definitely a company man. He ain't nobody's activist running out there, you know, supporting Israel to the detriment of, you know, Palestinians who are being destroyed and being humiliated and exterminated. So LeBron James clearly gave up his activism hat when he ran out there for Israel, you know, but I still want to see him and his son be successful together because that's something our boys and our men need to see. But Bronny James does not deserve all the criticism he's getting from black folks.